I was lost, like really. It didn't seem like my house, it didn't seem real. Thought it was just a bad dream. It's a heartbreaking sight here in Princeton. Over a week after the devastating flood swept through and completely destroyed homes. As residents continue to work, shoveling out mud from their homes, bringing out the furniture that is ruined, many left with absolutely nothing. It's one thing after another. It's been a long, is it eight or nine days? I don't even know what day it is anymore. Um, and we're, we're just hoping for a day off. For, we don't have to deal with another emergency at this point. It was a total devastation in the house. Pretty well lost everything. We're here evaluating what's left. And I got some help coming tomorrow. And uh, we'll clean the rest of the house out. And then uh, pretty well after that, I'll just lock the door and see what happens. We had to wait about two days before the water receded enough so that we can access and, um, and see for ourselves the damage. And uh, all week we've been working every day non-stop clearing up all the personal stuff and throwing that outside one day at a time you can't uh, you can't plan for tomorrow except for just cleaning up for princeton's mayor the biggest thing he wants to see is humanitarian relief brought in if we had them here with a hundred or so people we could probably get most of these people as you can see behind me they're 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 trying to get their homes back in order. None of these people have, have power or gas be, or even water because we have to have inspectors in and in order to get to all that, you have to, you have to be able to get in the house and you can't get in the house if all that stuff's sitting there. Residents want to see action done from the senior governments as answers on what is available feels limited and they worry about repairs happening in their community. So uh, that would be awesome if the government can step up and help the people and actually fix the problem, not band-aid. Frustrated, I'm really frustrated with the, the levels of bureaucracy that are just holding us back at this point. We just need, we need people home. Um, I know it's gonna be a long haul. I know some people aren't gonna be able to go home. Uh, we're trying to figure out a way to help those people the best we can. For CastNet News in Princeton, I'm Casey Richardson.